bro. See, bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. <laughs> okay. We need to get this thing moved out of the way. This is as far as I got before they ambushed me. Right, okay. Let's jump again. There we go. <laughs> Just speak. Hey, I think Alan Wake here has something to say. <laughs> uh, what's that, Al? Ooh, I'm Alan Wake. I'm always right about everything. <laughs> and if I don't get my way, I'll sulk all day long. I'm always intense and moody. It makes me very attractive and mysterious. Serious. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? Why no? can I not climb up this? So. Alright, there we go. Flip an egg. Alright. Let's get down. Let me just load again. Wow! <laughs> you look at that thing, Al! They the really hell? went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Look at all this stuff! They must have done okay. Sleep. We all spend uh -oh, a few more nights in a soft embrace, Man. somewhere it's between fantasy and Hey, oblivion. remember when I got you that gig? But your first real writing job, what got you started? Life. Was this one of your episodes? Versa. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode, The Dream of Dreams. Anyway. It's by someone else. Yeah. We join Mr. Jones as he explores the endless dreamscape. Just go around collecting some stuff before. There's a lot of ammo here, so I'm assuming I'm gonna need it. It's 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the headiest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field, naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. He knew it.
All right, buddy. Whoa, <laughs> buddy. Scared the crap out of me. I guess Barry's outside already. Big guy. Oh, it's one of these guys. Where did he go? There he is. Okay, um, where do we, where am I making it through? Where the hell did he go? I can't. Where did he go? What? Here? No, he's not inside. Hmm. It sounded like someone was in there then. Guess I'm out of shotgun ammo. That sucks. Quite effective gun. The hell is he? Oh, there you are. at quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm going to start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. <laughs> Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm going to take a closer look at this stuff. Okay. Um, oh, here we go. Yep. All right, whoop. There we go. Be careful, Al! I think I'll be fine. There we go. Shotgun ammo. Lovely. How much? How much do I have? Oh, four. That's better than none. Oh, wait. Some more. Lovely. Alright, let's keep going up then. If I'm going back. Holy crap! Yep. I'm good. Keep your eyes 
open, okay? Nothing else on this level. Keep going. Uh... Ah. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Oh, really? Boys, how busy are you now? Deerfest is almost here, isn't it? I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Thornton. I wasn't going to say anything. I was just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of trouble this year. Vandalism, fighting, public disturbances. A lot of people gone missing, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the uh, usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just, you know... Uh, a lot more of it. Now, is it just me, or does Deerfest get wilder every year? Okay. People seem to be more drunk, at least, or they start earlier and younger. Oh, it's definitely not just you, Pat, but definitely, Pat. Hey, I'm talking to you, Gordon. Uh, oh, shoot, I lost my train of thought. Not just me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's wild. I could see the building that had to be the Anderson's home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned-out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there we go. Nailed it. Alright, cool. Uh, nothing there. <laughs> they call it Valhalla. <laughs> oh, I can't get over. What the? Why can't I get over? What? Hmm. Open this, yeah, but uh, try it. It won't open.
Can I miss something? I don't think so. Oh, look, there's a thing over here. Maybe from where this guy came through? Oh, do I have to go all the way up again and over and stuff? Ah, uh, Al? Is that you out there, buddy? Yeah, yeah. it's me. Hey. hey, let's go, man. Yeah, let's go. <coughs> hmm. I think we're gonna have to work together to open this gate, Al. Looks pretty heavy. How do I... Oh. Ah! Why would we both be pushing hey, different I think sides? I the farm on the other side of the field. We're yeah. almost there. Yeah. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. <laughs> we should feel right at home then. <laughs> Again? Come on, one more gig. Let's do this thing. Are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. Uh, okay. Oh my god, they got, they got like drum kits and guitars and stuff. A, a stage in the living room, what the hell? The power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Alright. Well, wasn't the fuse box in the attic last time? You know, this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons were in the booby hatch. Oh my god, come yeah. on. I don't think they keep too close an eye on them at the clinic. They seem to <sighs> slip away a lot so they can get wasted. No kidding! Those guys sound awesome. Oh my god, just move, flipping heck. What's this? Come on, Al, let's get the lights on, huh? Yeah, I'd, I'd love to. Let me just, oh, hello, manuscript. Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. Ah, oh, here we go. That's weird that it's in their bedroom. Obviously a message. You hear that, Al? Music? Of course. We need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talked about. That's the whole reason we're here. I can't tell what old gods you know what. Lady of the light? Oh, that's gotta be what's your face. Know the truth, yeah. Lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right. Must be.
Okay? We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. <laughs> Might as well get some rest. Bottles. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. Oh, God. If I just <laughs> wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my <laughs> brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. <laughs> Why sleep on the floor when you just sleep on the bed? Or the couch or the chair. drunken dream and yet it was more than that it was the truth a suppressed memory unearthed by the anderson's moonshine i was there an out-of-body observer okay. this was the night alice and i had arrived at bright falls the night alice had disappeared i had a chance to find out alice? what had happened alice. i remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark alice would have never turned the lights off i remembered thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. <gasps> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. I know Beyond this lost there. memory, there was nothing. I had to follow the footsteps of my past self to find out what had happened that night. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Alice! Jagger had Alice, Alice. And so she had me. Alice! <coughs> I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. Okay. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me, made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You laugh at the whole thing together and put it behind you. Oh Alice? She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you write. You killed her. Ah! Oh, hush. There's still hope. 
Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Okay. I guess he made a deal. Yes. All right. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish, to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It isn't here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I'm here. It will be back soon. It stole the skin of my heart a long time ago. She looks so old. I had woken up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Oh, boy. <laughs> There's an old tale road with mystery atop the poet and his muse, and a magic lake which gave a life to the words the poet used. Previously on Alan Wake, under the influence of the Dark Presence, I wrote a horror story that is coming true. Jagger had been my editor, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Together we can create something absolutely wonderful. The Lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. My mom gave me this old light switch. The clicker. Alice is being kept in a dark prison. I need to find Cynthia Weaver to fix this. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. If I have to click it. Well, we're expecting a record crowd from the neighboring counties. Naturally, we hope to break the record set by last year's Moose Fest in our neighboring town, Wagery. Ladies and gentlemen, some people have asked me, what's the big deal about Deer Fest? And I think that this sums it up. It's about friendship and community. We've got a great party coming up, though. Uh, let's try to hold it in until tomorrow and get through the night in one piece, all right? Someone will come for it when the time is right. Thomas said so. He wrote it. The key is 
insurance. It's my job to keep it safe. Safe in the light. Mm. Always in the light. Hello. Hello. All the manuscript pages were gone. The FBI agent had taken them. I think... I think my tongue just took a crap in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs>